Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, more on this Ash Lie business. Um, I made up a last batch of Ash Lie the other day, two days ago, and boiled. It was some of the best ash I'd ever made up. Oh, it was the ash I'd got out of the fire pit is really superior to anything I've ever done before. Now I filtered it three times, four times, got as much of the charcoal as I could. Now this one seems to have got, came up, it actually came up this colour straight up. So as soon as I boiled it, came out this yellow tea colour. It was actually that colour when I looked at it, still hot. So it was this fantastic, beautiful colour. It's got a little bit of debris in there, but it's got bugger all sludge in the bottom. It's got a tiny little bit of sludge in the bottom. This tested pair 12 pH, straight up. Um, yeah, very dangerous. Um, I would not... I'm a bit hesitant to keep this stuff around, just because it's so alkaline. Now... That being said, we all have drain cleaner and that, so this is just the same sort of alkaline drain cleaner, you know, you, you've got that sort of stuff around, it's just the amount I've got, I don't normally keep this sort of amount of drain cleaner around, so that's, this is what they used to use for drain cleaner back in the day, so I don't want to oversell it. But yeah, I just, yeah, it's, you've got to be careful with when you're handling it. That's why I put a glove on. Um, it'll start turning your hand, um, the fats in your hand to soap. Um, it is caustic and it is dangerous to touch on your skin. So yeah, don't touch it. That's all I'm saying is, and if you do have a spill, use vinegar to um neutralize it so testing it it goes purple straight up which is 12 ph purple is a strong 12 indicator and that is the strongest batch i've ever made and fantastic like that's a very strong alkaline caustic indicator like that's purple there's no hesitation in it it's not gone that brown color which is 13 14 but it's a very good 12 and it's only getting it it's only getting better <laughs> like it's not getting better but it's it's, um, yeah, it's a good batch. That is a very good batch of um, ash lye. Now, I did, if you're getting into ash lye, get these. These pH universal indicator papers, $6.50 for 400. Um, yeah. It'll, they will improve your batch making. No dramas whatsoever. Um, i just got to be careful. I just don't want to break that glass jar. Buy mason jars too. I think this this is the biggest one. They sell our 12 bucks. Um, yeah, nice stainless steel lid. Um, big, big j mason jars. I'm going to buy one more, so I'll have two of the biggest ones and then one of the smaller ones, and that'll be it. I, I won't need any more of that. Now, I did put... I bought a towel. It was on Markdown. $2. No, $4.99 for a massive big cotton towel. Soaked it in... My other one, I did find, obviously, my magpie 
wants to be fed anyway. Um, I'm making a video, so I'm not going to feed him. He won't be very happy about that. Um, I did... Um, he's put me right off now. <laughs> I hope he doesn't come down into the camera. Um, I did... Um, test my other batch. I've got another batch of another mason jar full of it. It did show 12, but it had some charcoal in it. So there was a little bit of charcoal in there, and I think it dropped the pH down by a point. So it went down to about 11 in it. Um, all good still. 11 still pretty good. And he is coming over. Anyway, I think he might even come down into frame, but anyway, I haven't got anything to feed him. Yeah, he's going to come right down. He wants to come down and say hello. I hope he doesn't, because I haven't got anything. He is very, very curious, and he likes me. He feeds out of my hand. Um, this is um, Ashlye Cotton Towel. Um, Soaked for two days in ash lye, then dried out in the oven all day. Let's see if I can get it to take a spark. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to revisit it. If this batch doesn't it, then this is it. I am not going to try this anymore because it's just frustrating. thought that started smoking then. Yeah, he belted off as soon as I started sparking. I don't like whooshing them away. Now that hasn't got any fuzzies, but I didn't soak it in this one. It's the only thing I could think of is to try it. I've never had success with this stuff. It's got some fuzzies there. doing burning my stone out. Cotton doesn't work for me. I don't know how Jason got it to work. It's frustrating. I'm going to end up breaking my mason jar. No, it doesn't work. Cotton doesn't work for me. Um, I cannot get it to go. That was soaked for a couple of days in, and it is dry. It is as dry as anything. Um, as you can see, this was the dirtier batch. It's got the... Um, the only thing I can think of is soak it in the 12 pH for a couple of days. And then try that. But if it doesn't work, that's the end of it for me, for cotton, because I am well and truly over it. It, um, it'll just soak down and drop down the bottom. I'll put that in there for a couple of days and then um, that's in the strongest solution. If it doesn't work, um, I will not 
be revisiting cotton or cotton wool or cotton anything other than punkwood. That is my strongest solution and the best one I've ever made. Um, it has brilliant colour, brilliant pH, very little charcoal, very little sludge and it working really well. Um, I just have to be very careful when handling this stuff now because, um, yeah, that fire pit I've got produces very superior ash. It, um, it is very, very good at production of ash, so I'm very happy with the way it works. And it seems to... Um, i just make sure that that has gone all the way down. In, yeah, it's all I... I bought myself a whole heap of chopsticks for this very reason just to make sure it's all in it's a bit wasteful but because I end up throwing them away they're contaminated now um, yeah if this doesn't work after a couple of days of soaking um, and dry it, completely dried out um, that's it for me I'm I'm not going to revisit it again. I'll just do it with punkwood. I'm having good success with punkwood, and I'm enjoying that. I can get such good results with char cloth um, and nitrating of cotton materials, like with a slow match and that. I don't need to go through this process because it's just so inconsistent for me, um, and it just frustrates me, which I don't like doing. Um, once I get frustrated with something I tend to quickly abandon it and I don't want to abandon this because I'm only getting to the point now where it's starting to work for me and I'm starting to get my um, solution like my ash lie to the point where it's a superior product so yeah that's just that's my mental state um just the way it is so yeah I, I i know i have to work within my own thing and that's it so yeah but anyway i wanted to update that and show you this um very very happy with that one and um with that batch um i don't think i'll be making any more i think the only thing i think i may do is Next weekend, because I'm going over to Andrews on Thursday, I'm getting a batch of wood. I'm going to get some blood wood off him. I'm going to put some blood wood through that fire pit, get a whole heap of ash. And this 11 that I've got now, I might make one more batch up, about the same amount of this, put that 11 through... Because that's what I did with, I amalgamated all of the batches into this one and this turned it into a 12 batch. I'll amalgamate that 11 into a 12 batch as well and I'll have all my whole batches, I'll have two batches of 12 and then that'll be it, that'll, all, that'll be all the ash that I have on hand, be two big mason jars like this about that like a couple of litres of it and that'll be for soaking eventually I'll probably amalgamate it into one bottle of a 12 batch I don't think I can ever get it stronger I don't know how I could Jason showed that reduction doesn't seem to like drawing water out of it doesn't seem to make it any stronger I haven't really tried myself so that's just an anecdote for, on Jason's part but um, I can't see how it could be wrong. So, but anyway, yeah, that's just an update. Anyway, I wanted to show you that, and um, yeah, just give you a little bit of an update on on my Ashley journey. Um, for anyone who wants to get into this, yeah, my my suggestion is eliminate all the charcoal out of your batch, sift as much as you can. 
I sifted this last lot three times. Eliminate as much charcoal out of it as you can. Um, boil it, full rolling boil for an hour. Um, wear gloves when you're handling it. Um, maybe even a face shield. Um, be very careful with it. Once you get up into these numbers, 12 pH, it is caustic, but no more caustic than any of the drain, commercial good drain cleaners that we get, um, that we can buy commercially here. Um, just be careful, you know, we're adults, so, you know, it's all good. Um, just, just PPE, bit of PPE, just don't get it on your skin, have a bit of vinegar, if you have a spill, um, just neutralise and then wash it off. Um, and have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, that's what I'm, 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 when I first said I was getting a bit frustrated, I've changed my mindset and I'm having fun with it now. So that, that except for this frustrating bit, <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating, but yeah. Um, but I'm focusing now on Punkwood mainly. This was just a, uh, I did say I was going to try and revisit it and if this doesn't work that'll be the end of it so yeah we'll go from there but um, uh, mainly because um, Jason's sounded a little bit um, down that he I, I couldn't get results from it and I was a little bit disappointed I couldn't get results from it and I think with this 12 pH stuff it might give me some results we'll see what happens anyway if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's all good. Um, and we'll go from there. And last but not least, if you're going to do that, spend the money on getting a few pH testing. Um, you can get a pH machine, a little pH, electronic pH tester. The inexpensive ones, I don't know how accurate they are, but they're like 12 bucks or something. You just stick a probe in and take a reading. I'm thinking about getting one of them as well. Um, but these are so cheap, um, 400 for $6.50. These, you don't have to do the egg test because in um, the old days they used to float an egg and a strong batch will float a fresh egg, unboiled, fresh egg in it. And a weak batch won't. And in water, a fresh egg will sink. So that's how they used to test them, but I don't test mine like that. I've got pH testers for that, and I know that a 12 pH is pretty darn alkaline. So, yeah, so we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.